Hoi hoi! Welcome back to my channel. Today I figure I do a birthday tag because today is my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to me. So let's get started. When is your birthday? Today. How old are you turning? And no, I'm not embarrassed to say it, but I'm going to be 39 today. What was your favorite present that you ever received? Um, it wasn't on my actual birthday. It was like a few days after my birthday. Um, it was the day of a birthday party though. And my parents were taking me to the World of Wheels to meet Austin St. John. Um, if you don't know, Austin St. John is the original Red Power Ranger. So let me try to put this up without showing my brother since I don't have his permission to use his photo right now. But here you go. Can you see it? Let's see. Yeah. And <laughs> I was actually kind of surprised he asked me to send him to his lap. Um, now at the time I was 13. But I looked at like 11 or something, I guess. And um, he gave me two autographs. There was one autograph that they provided. And then there was a card that I got from Team Beat or something. And he signed that. And then he asked me to sit on his lap. And he kissed my hand. I did not kiss. I did not wash my hand for a few days afterwards. Because I had a huge crush on him back then. Um, so that was the best uh, birthday present I really got. I got to meet my then, um, celebrity crush. Um, are you going to have a party this year? No, I'm not doing a party this year again. Um, I haven't done a party in the last, I'm going to turn this light off if I can. And of course it's going to go, oh, whatever. Um, I haven't had a party in since 2017. Um, in 2017, um, I was sick for my birthday. Then in 2018, we had just, what, what did we do in 2018? Did I have a party in 2018? Mm, I don't remember now. I might have of a birthday party then. I don't remember now. <laughs> some things I can remember well and some things I can't, even at this age. Um, now, in 2019, when we moved here, I didn't have a party because it, it, things would have been chaotic because we just moved into this house. And last year was the pandemic, so I didn't have a party. And I'm not having a party again for mainly that reason. Um, so, yeah. Um, how do you usually, usually celebrate your birthday? Um, I just want to make sure that I'm eating something that I like to eat that I normally don't eat, like crabs or something special, you know, at a special restaurant. Um, and always make sure there's something sweet like cake to eat, something like that. And I usually talk to my parents, you know, so that kind of thing and spend time with my loved ones. What was the most memorable birthday that you had? Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess when I turned 13 and I met Austin St. John, that's what really stands out. Um, maybe when I was pregnant with my son too, only because it was the first birth. It was the first birthday I was pregnant and. I got to eat a lot of good food. That's what I like about pregnancy. You can get away with eating a lot. Um, Try to remember if there's anything else. Um, I mean, some birthdays stand out in a really negative way only because I was sick. Like my 15th birthday, I was sick, had a temperature. And then my 19th birthday, I had pink eye. And there's been other birthdays where I've been sick too, but yeah. But the most memorable one 
It was definitely when I was 13 when I met my then former celebrity crush. If you had an unlimited amount of money, what would you do for your birthday? Go to the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, it's right next to a geothermal plant. And they put this... Uh, it's basically water from the plant. It, it, it's not toxic at all. It's very beneficial because they get their heat from volcanoes um and the water it produces goes into the lagoon and the lagoon is beneficial so it's not like toxic or anything um and i think it's pretty cool and i would like to visit there someday hopefully next year when i turn 40 but if i had a limited amount of money i would definitely like to do that and there's another thing that i would like to do is go to ireland yeah so, I'd like to do that and maybe eat the shit out of a lot of seafood, particularly crabs, but I could do that even if I didn't have a limited amount of money. What's your birthday wish list? I have to admit, I'm not really a materialistic person, but when I do need something, it's something that's practical. Um, like this year, I want a Roomba, you know, <laughs> as you get older guys, you start to ask for things that you never thought of asking when you were younger. Um, I know one year I asked for a blender for my birthday and my mom couldn't believe that I would want something like a blender rather than jewelry or anything, but I really don't wear much jewelry. I mean, I wear this thing on my finger, which is the Glad Die Ring, if I'm saying it correctly, which I'm most likely not. Um, but yeah, this year I want a Roomba, um, because when you have kids, your floors get dirty quicker, and even if you vacuum, and it's, like, dirty within an hour or so, so a Roomba would be nice to have, I don't want to keep pulling out the vacuum cleaner every once in a while whenever the kids get messy, and it would probably be good to have once we get a puppy, <clears throat> um, Let's see, money, <laughs> that's always a good thing to get. Um, when I'm in the States, gift cards, um, so I can get whatever I want, really. Um, let me think. Uh, if I haven't gotten it during Christmas, I usually want a swimsuit, but since I got swimsuits for Christmas, I don't need swimsuits right now. Um, yeah. And of course, chocolate's always good. But I'm not really a materialistic person when it comes to my birthday. And I know I've been like that for the last few years. Like, I just want one thing or just want money or want gift cards or something. Or want something that's really practical that I need. So, yeah. Nine. If you only had one birthday left, what would you do for your birthday? It depends what I haven't done yet. I'm going to turn off this freaking light. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's already light here today in Sweden, so I don't need that on. Um, huh. Well, like I said, it depends what I haven't done yet for that birthday. Um, if, it, if this was my last birthday, um, I would go out with a bang. You know, I would do what I want to do. I would try food that I haven't tried before. Um, I would try to accomplish a goal that I really wanted to set that I know I may not have enough time to do. And don't get me wrong, I, I've thought about this question before, especially when my friend had cancer and she was dying from it. I thought about what would I do for my last birthday if I could. But yeah, just just do whatever I haven't done yet that I really want to do. Like, it, you know, I said if I had a limited amount of money, I would go to Blue Lagoon in Iceland or I would go to Ireland or even Stonehenge in England or something. Do something extravagant and stuff. So, yeah. Um, no, 
<laughs> Do you have any birthday traditions? Yeah, ever since I joined Facebook in 2008, I've enjoyed liking everybody's birthday message as well as thanking them for the birthday message. And one time I did it when my friends was staying with me for a bit and she was amazed that I was replying to a lot of people and it was like a lot of messages to reply to. And I said in a way I, I do it for practice because if I would ever get famous for something or get well known for something, I want to be able to have that ability to make sure I reply to all my fans and tell them I appreciate their birthday wishes and stuff like that. And I know the more that people get a fan base that is ex extensive, um, the more that might be hard to do. But I would hope that I would try to be someone that would actually try to stay on top of it. Because I do want my fans, as well as my family and friends, to appreciate that I really appreciate their birthday wishes and stuff and all that. So, yeah. Um... I always make sure I have something sweet. Like, sometimes I don't feel like having cake, but I would make sure I have ice cream or something or a dessert. Like, for a while, before we moved and stuff, um, in, within Sweden, that is, um, I used to like getting blondies from 7-Eleven for my birthday because most cakes in Sweden have a lot of cream in them, and I don't like cream because I'm lactose intolerant. And while there's still some lactose in cakes and stuff, I mean, unless you get vegan or something, um, I like to get stuff that's not really creamy, so, um, yeah, but then they stopped doing that a lot, and we're far away from a 7-Eleven now here in Sweden where we can't really do that, but, you know, make sure I have a gift to open, doesn't have to be a lot of gifts, make sure I get a lot of birthday wishes, make sure I talk to my parents, and just spend time with my loved ones and do something special, basically, so, I'm not, I'm not hard to please, really. Um, what is your favorite part about your birthday? And this is going to shock a lot of people. Getting older. Um, a lot of people are like, what? You want to get older? There's nothing wrong getting older. The part that people don't like the most when they get older is aging. They don't like losing their looks and stuff. But if you have a heart of gold and... You feel young despite getting older, then it's not going to bother you that much. I guess I'm 39 now, but I don't feel like I'm 39 sometimes or most of the time. The only time I feel like I'm 39 or older is when I'm achy and stuff or, you know, my asthma is acting up or I get one of my sickies like bronchitis. But usually I'm, I'm thankful about getting older because being someone that studies history a lot, you see how a lot of people didn't make it to be in their hell, even 10 years old, because mortality rate among children used to be very high back then. And then, you know, you'd be lucky to live to your 20s or your 30s or something. So the more I get older, the more I'm appreciative of having the gift of getting older, because that was denied to a lot of people for centuries. Um, staying young, I mean... I, do, I would like to think I still look young for my age. Um, I used to think I look to be in my 20s, but I think that's a little bit stretched right now. Probably at least 30 right now, but not in my early 20s. Um, and stuff like that. Um, what is my... I have more than one favorite part. I just, I guess, spending time with my family and doing something special. Uh, what's one thing that changed a lot since your last birthday? Um, the pandemic. Now, the pandemic was beginning to start last year, but it hadn't really gone into full blown effect yet. Now, even for the States. Um, now, I was in Sweden during my birthday last year, like I've been for every year for the most part, um, since I moved to Sweden in 2006. But, um... The weekend of my birthday last year, because my birthday fell, fell on a Sunday, but my significant other and I went out for my birthday on the 7th. Uh, that weekend was probably the last weekend where things were relatively normal before there was, 
at least in Sweden, there was like um, restrictions, like make sure you are six feet or six inches away from each other, or you know, hand hand sanitizers were everywhere and all this other stuff. I know a lot more places in the world were like taking, you know, we're going through a, a lot with the virus, like doing lockdowns and stuff, but here there weren't lockdowns, but even though we didn't have the lockdowns or, you know, things were a lot different than they were. So the pandemic is one major thing that was different. Like it was, it's more rampant. Although I would think, although working more restrictions here because of the uh, variant from Britain. So yeah, um, but yeah, mainly the pandemic w- was more rampant and stuff. Um, where did I leave off? Okay. Have you ever thrown a surprise party or have you ever thrown one for someone? I think I read that wrong. Have you ever been thrown a surprise party or have you ever thrown one for someone? Um, no and no. I mean, I wasn't planning a surprise party for anyone, but I, there was a surprise party for my mom. And she was like 35, I think. Yeah, something like that. But no, I never did a surprise party. Um, I don't know if I would like a surprise party. I mean, I don't mind surprises, but um, no one has ever thrown one for me or anything like that. And I don't know if I have what it takes to to plan one for somebody else, actually. So yeah, that's my birthday tag today. So if you like this video, hit like. Um... So, have you guys had, uh, I want to ask a question. Um, so, what was your last birthday like? What do you plan to do for your next birthday? And I'll see you guys later. Subscribe to me if you haven't. I'll be appreciative if you do. And toodles.